Rune skates clear. Rune against Lee. Drop pass to Dumfus. Dumfus shoots. He scores. Oh, baby. What a Montreal shot. wins game one as Vincent Dumfus scores the game winning goal at 5 04 of overtime. Take another look. Nearly a straight blade for Dom Foose. As he gets it here. Takes a little look. Knows there's a screen and a powerful wrist shot. That's that crisscross on the rush. Three goals by Montreal on the rush in this game. Look at that crisscross. Look at the screen. Top corner shot, and it's fabulous. It's back out of center. Here come the Canadiens. Friesbois. Poivu now. Backhand. Forehand. Friesbois shot. Patrice Brisbois has won it for Montreal. The Canadian season lives on. They'll see a game five Saturday in New Jersey. Poivu will get the puck back. Here's the overpassing I thought that perhaps was happening. Another one out in front, but hey, it worked out. And even though Brisbois was being hit from the side, he kept his balance and put it in. To Poivu, Brisbois gets in front. Two Jersey Devils slide out. Chambers tries to get back in the play. Puck is out near center, and Brown dumps it over the Montreal blue line. Malakov coming up there with a lead pass. Shot, score! Brune ends the game in a Montreal victory here at Pittsburgh with a bullet shot at 1843 of the first overtime. Here it is, Greg. What a pass by Malakoff. Stick to stick. Rune on a bad angle. The second time this evening, Barrasso has been pulled. Or something he switched up halfway through the third because the Brindamore line was dominating this line. On the draw, they score! From the faceoff, Donald Odette! Faceoff, Brindamore doesn't lose many, and he doesn't lose this one either. But Donald Odette just goes right through on young Cole. Cole is his check. Odette jumps by up and throws it right up and through Weeks' his legs. Zachary Poivre with Chris Higgins to the net, steered aside by Cam Ward. Poivre hustles to the puck. Higgins for Ryder. He shoots, he scores! Michael Ryder and the Montreal Canadiens have defeated the Carolina Hurricanes 6-5 to take a 2-0 series lead on the road. Leads the team in goals. Leads the team in power play goals. And leads the team in shots on goal. And he made sure that this game's over in a hurry in the fifth period. Two minutes and 32 seconds into the second overtime period. Koivu to Higgins to Ryder. A Finn to an American to a Newfoundlander. Higgins to his right on this faceoff for Montreal on the power play, which continues to the blue line, and Markov slipped it ahead. Kovalev fires, scores! Kovalev has won the game on that bullet shot, and the Canadians are up 2 0 in the best of seven. after the faceoff. First of all, the Canadians win the draw. Placanis has been great all night in that department. And what a shot right off the post and in on Tim Thomas. As Koval has been working off the other side all night long. This side he works on Chera's side. Aaron Ward's blocked a lot of his shots tonight. This time Chera doesn't do it on the other side. As Koval has switched his side because the faceoff is on that side and what a shot. Went after it again, it came off the boards to Kapanen, couldn't get it out. Canadians get a shot, stop rebound, score! Kostopoulos, 48 seconds. Montreal, miraculous victory tonight in game one. Tied it late, ended early. What a piece of work by Kostopoulos though. For checking hard, working for his life in there, took a bump. Got it again, back to the line. Watch it'll come to him. One, two, over. The stopless sets the play up, but Markov on the point gets the puck through. Brought in by Plakanich for a shot. He scores! Thomas Plakanich wins it for Montreal! What 
watch this. He picks it up, and there's the gap. Corvo is just back too far. He gives him too much room there, Sam, and that gives him time to let it go. Picking up the puck. There's five feet, six feet. There's no stick to the man and no stick to the puck. And the Canadian stick it to the Washington Capitals and take a one-nothing series lead. Georges. Kucherov comes out to check in. Reese is loose, he shoots, he scores! Danny Briere weaves some magic again with Michael Bourneval and Dale Reese. And it's Reese who wins the game for Montreal. A little wrap around and watch. Protect the puck to the outside. All three Tampa Bay Lightning go behind the net. And Dale Weiss, another guy brought in to add some toughness, some experience, and he scores the biggest goal of his career. First ever playoff goal for Dale Weiss in his seventh playoff game, and it's a beauty of a shot. And Montreal has the first win in this series, 5-4 in sudden death overtime. Placanitz. Briere and Gallagher, they win the draw. Markov, Subban shoots, he scores! P.K. Subban. This time he wasn't just trying to get it through, he was trying to put it through the net. And the Montreal Canadiens have defeated the Boston Bruins in game one, four to three. Briere keeps it alive, one pass, and this is just shoot as hard as you can. Bodies in front, Gallagher, that small body again, is the only Montreal Canadian in front of him, and Subban just blows it by him. Now the DeHarnay line was on the shift before, so out comes Mechanics. It's not about winning the faceoff clean, you never do against Bergeron, but you win it enough that Briere helps you out, and then Subban finishes it off. Gianta to Mechanics. Markov is with him, the puck goes on, let me score! Alex Galchenyuk! A minute and 12 seconds in, and there is life in the Montreal Canadiens. Galchenyuk with the winner, and the series is 2-1 Rangers. Placanitz does a nice job keeping it on side, keeping control, and just driving to the net and stopping. A lot of players might go behind the net or buy it instead. You stop on the net and good things happen. McAdams just put it on the net and he had Markov driving the middle coming with him. He might have tipped it. Instead, it went on goal and the deflection up high off Alex Galchenyuk just back into the lineup gets his first playoff goal. And it's a game winner in overtime. And Gallagher, oh man, he's in a real battle with Kobietsky. There's Gallagher, shoots! it over to Papanis, he dropped it down to Gallagher. Rebound, and Galchenyuk, the wheel and fire, able to get it up in the air, and Hammond shows his frustration, but everything on the net, any time of the game, especially in overtime, and see the edge work, and the ability to get that high enough above the pad so it could trickle through Andrew Hammond. That's a tough shot to make. Galchenyuk does it beautifully. Puck moved out. Reese, waits, scores! <laughs> Dale Weiss, the unlikeliest of heroes, ties it up late, and then good decision, two on one. Not a great angle to shoot this from, but he leans on it, head up the whole way. Short side, almost post and in on Craig Anderson to put Montreal up a commanding three games to zero. He'll come back out, Markov, back to Weber. He'll move it up, Pacioretty, shooting, scramble, score, it's over. The guys in the studio were bang on right, challenging some of the top players of the Montreal Canadiens. Where have they been so far? And I'll tell you what, they helped to tie this game up, and they just helped to win it.
Here's the one to the net, the battle in front. Montreal made a, made a point of practicing it all day yesterday, getting bodies in front of the net, being on top of Henrik Lundqvist. They had bodies around him. We showed a bunch of the scrambles. And at the end of the day, it's a one battle over Zibanejad by Radulov. He wins the battle, and he wins the hockey game, and he gets his series back to even.